Pope Francis' heartbreaking appeal before a crowd of 20,000 people. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis, who suspended his activities yesterday due to a mild flu, took to the balcony of the Apostolic Palace to address a brief reflection. Following his reflection at the Sunday Angelus prayer, Pope Francis renewed his call for an end to the war in Ukraine, which turned two years old yesterday, and pleaded for that little bit of humanity to be found to achieve a diplomatic solution. Yesterday, February 24, we have remembered with sorrow the second anniversary of the beginning of the large-scale war in Ukraine. How many victims, wounded, destruction, anguish, tears in a period that is becoming terribly long and of which no end is yet in sight, the Pope expressed to the 20,000 faithful gathered in St. Peter's Square. The Pontiff added that this is a conflict that is not only devastating that region of Europe, but is unleashing a global wave of fear and hatred. As I renew my deepest affection for the martyred Ukrainian people and pray for all, in particular for the many innocent victims, I pray for that little bit of humanity to be found that will create the conditions for a diplomatic solution in search of a just and lasting peace," the Holy Father said. Pope Francis also urged to continue to pray for Palestine, for Israel and for the many peoples torn by war, as well as to concretely help those who suffer. Let us think of so much suffering, let us think of the wounded, innocent children," he said. According to the UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine, 10,582 civilians have been killed and 19,875 injured since the start of the war in February 2022, although it warned that the figure could be higher. For its part, the International Organization for Migrants points out in its latest report that more than 14 million people almost a third of the Ukrainian population dash, have left their homes. Of this number, more than 6 million are now refugees in other European countries and 3.7 million have become displaced within Ukraine. It is important to stand in solidarity and compassion in the face of conflict situations such as the one Ukraine is going through. Prayer, solidarity and the active search for diplomatic solutions are powerful tools to promote peace and alleviate the suffering of people affected by war. Pope Francis' call to find a little humanity resonates strongly, reminding us that in the midst of violence and destruction, we must always strive to preserve our humanity and compassion for others. In addition to prayer, it is essential to support humanitarian organizations that provide concrete help to those who are suffering, whether they are refugees or displaced persons within Ukraine. Every gesture of solidarity counts and can make a difference in the lives of those facing extreme hardship. Let us continue to keep in our hearts and actions the desire for peace and justice for Ukraine and for all places in the world affected by conflict and suffering. Praise be to Jesus Christ, and may His Most Holy Mother be forever praised.